Usually when you want to animate a model you use the animation mixer to play one or more animations that are stored in the GLB file. However, in some scenarios you may want to animate only a part of your model and that's by using a certain trigger like mouse move or mouse scroll. Furthermore, you want the amount of the animation or maybe the orientation of that part to be dependent on the amount of mouse scroll or its direction. In that case, you need to animate the bones of your skinned mesh manually. But what do you mean by bones and skinned mesh, you might be asking. Well, similar to the human body, a mesh is basically the flesh, and the flesh won't be able to move or make any action without bones. A skinned mesh, on the other hand, is the flesh with the skeleton, which is essentially a set of bones. So for example, if you want to rotate the hand of this model using a slider, we simply need to get access to the bone of that hand and rotate it. Actually, let's try that in the editor. So as you can see here, we have this skinned mesh, and by activating the helper, you see the bones forming the skeleton. Now, the bones are usually set in apparent child order, so here we have the root joint which moves the entire model, then under it we find the two legs in the spine. So here we can rotate the leg or move it. And we have the spine which is composed of the upper body parts, like the arms and head. Something I want you to pay attention to is the name. This property is the one that we will use to get access to the bone. Also, talking about bones and skeletons in human anatomy doesn't mean this is used only to human models. In this example, we have the bones at the center, and as you see, each one is responsible for the rotation of one of these planets. Now, let's try to animate this example by rotating the bones instead of playing the existing animations with the mixer. I have the model loading code in the GUI ready, so what I'm going to do here is simply call get object by name and set the name of the bone as argument and then pass the amount of rotation. And there we go. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.